understand to me. My spiritual experience has its ups and downs. Sometimes it stumbles and sometimes it's glorious. Why this variation? Oh. Spiritual experience is stumbling or you are stumbling? Possibly me, but I feel with all that the other people told me, I do it. And uh, it is not constant, it is just that I am stumbling sometimes. And sometimes it's glorious, this life is beautiful. And I can't even believe it would be so beautiful before I uh, met it. Say, uh, what is a spiritual experience? Let's come to this first. You need to understand this. This body is something that you gathered slowly, is that so? Is that so? Did you gather this? What is that uh, sabu… What is that sabu alu, what do you call that? Huh? That cannonball kind sabu of thing. Dana. Sabu? Dana. Dana. So sabu dana. <laughs> Yesterday I was telling somebody, I was at somebody's home and I was telling them my first experience of sabu dana way back in the Sahyadri mountains. <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> So this is all sabudana slowly gathered. No wonder it feels so difficult. <laughs> now this is something that you gathered. Everything that's here is something that you gathered. Your mind is a gathered phenomena, accumulated phenomena, body is an accumulated phenomena. So what you call as myself, is the spirit, if you want to call it that way. It's a very contaminated word, so I generally don't use it, but now that you're using the word spirituality, it is the spirit. So if your life is about that, then you're spiritual. If your life is about the body, it is about the mind, it is about what's around you, we say you're material because these are accumulated things. What you accumulate can be yours, can never ever be you. That much is clear to us, isn't it? Yes? So whether you gathered stones or diamonds or what, they can be yours, but they can never ever be you. So when we say spirituality, we are saying it's about you. It is not about Furniture in the house, you know, after some time people treat you like a furniture. Body is like furniture for us to sit and stand, isn't it? Yes? Mind is another kind of furniture to do things. So this is not about furniture, this is about you. So spiritual process means it's about you, not about your furniture not about your property, not about the things that you can gather and lose. So what is the experience of that? Let's not go about trying to describe, this is the experience of that. All I am saying is, it is about this. So why is it, why is it that furniture is there and you are missing? Because somewhere you don't know what you are doing. Somebody put it in a big way saying they know not what they're doing. A few basic things of eating, sleeping, reproduction, you're doing it the way it has to be done. Everything else is freaked, you understand? So that is why what is fundamental you to come into it, say your experience, we have to do all kinds of circus, hang you upside down. If you just do life the way it needs to be done, not the way your society has twisted you to do it, you will see 
Spiritual process is always on, nobody needs to teach you, nobody needs to do anything to you because that is you. It is not an imported commodity, it is you, isn't it? It is essential you. Your body is imported. Sabudana <laughs> or whatever. Your mind is imported, isn't it so? But what is you has always been there. What is there to do about it? There is nothing to do about it. Too much sadhu, sabudana, so we have to clear it a little bit. So right now, your life has become about things that you gather and not about you. Because of that, it is like this. You need to… It is no more… You know, you cannot even talk about it in the world anymore because people are recognized for what kind of car they drive or what kind of clothes they wear, for what kind of makeup they wear or… Nobody is recognized for what he is, yes, largely. So, don't make it so complicated, yes. Oh, my spirituality, my experience, my this, don't make spirituality like you're growing horns. <laughs> you become simply life. The problem with life is you're trying to be special, so you look stupid. Just be life, you will see this is wonderful. You become a body, you become a mind, you become a society, you become famous, you become rubbish, you become all kinds of things. Just be life because that's all you are and that's all you can be, you cannot be anything else. Forget about all this big, big jargon, I'm spiritual, I'm this, my spiritual experience, my ordinary experience, there's no such thing. There's just life. Are you on the surface or are you moving towards the core? That's all.